Hi my friends, welcome to Taste to Explore. My name is Darlene. Now today my friends, we are going to be doing a really easy go-to side dish recipe. This is, this has like um, uh, an Asian flair to it. It's really delicious and it comes together in the flash. Now what I like about this particular recipe is that one, super easy. Two, this is a perfect way for you to get your greens in. And if you ever had kale, you know that it has like a strong particular flavor to it. That um, green bushy flavor. But with the Asian flair to it, right? The this Asian particular uh, seasoning um, that we're going to do to this, it masks out that flavor. So it's really delicious. You don't taste that strong bite to it, but at the same time, it goes together beautifully with white rice, brown rice. You can have any kind of uh, protein with it. You can have it with pork chops, or I'm going to make it with baked chicken. So this, my friends, is delicious, and it goes good with anything, and it's a perfect way to have greens as a side dish. So the ingredients is super simple and easy, and I just can't wait to... Uh, show you how I make it. Um, I do have another video of how to do kale so you can definitely check that out and pair it off with this and with the other video which you're going to see in the link but needless to say it's really simple and easy and it comes together in a flash. So now let's begin. Alright guys so let's begin. Right here I have bought a 16 ounce bag of uh, fresh kale that's been already cleaned and dry and when you're using the bag version you're gonna have a lot of these um hard stems to it I personally don't mind but if you feel like you don't like that you can definitely just pick on it and remove all the leaves out you know by just pulling them out and then discarding the fibrous stem or you can purchase um, a few big bushes of kale that they're pretty long and then you can just tear off the leaves that way and just throw away the stems. It's really up to you. I really don't mind so I'm just going to keep it like this. And this is 16 ounces. Now right here I have one tablespoon of any flavorless oil would do like vegetable oil, corn oil, something like that. I have here half a tablespoon of low sodium. It's just so that it doesn't become overpowering of salt. The low sodium is perfect for me. And right here, I'm using about two teaspoons of sesame seed oil. This gives it a really nice Asian flair. But if you don't have this, you can use without because I have made it before without it and it still was pretty tasty. Now I'm just going to be grating up some fresh ginger, maybe like a half a teaspoon. This is according to your taste because ginger can be really overpowering. And I'm using a, a one clove of garlic, but you can use more depending on your palate because sometimes if you're like me, you might like a lot of garlic in your foods. So this is all that needs to be done. This is really super simple ingredients. Now let's All right guys, super simple. You're gonna need a saucepan with a little bit of high sides right there. I'm gonna start off by putting some oil into the pan, not too much, just enough to coat. And I just have my stove on a medium high. Now I am going to work really quick because I want to infuse everything all together. We're not frying it up. We're just infusing, giving it a nice flavor. So right here, I'm just going to be grating in my fresh garlic into the oil. Before the oil gets too hot, I want everything to get really flavored up really well. And then my fresh garlic i'm sorry my fresh um ginger now you can put in as much as you want i don't want it too overpowering so maybe like a half a tea teaspoon should do because a little does go a long way like that that seems perfect and it smells so fragrant already 
love it love it love it all right now working quickly i'm gonna put in my soy sauce all right and my sesame seed oil this is gonna give a really nice flavor nice asian flavor and it smells good already just give it a little stir as the pan is heating up everything is getting infused and it's smelling absolutely incredible and this is all it is to it so you're gonna allow this to maybe heat up I would say like three to five minutes it doesn't really take too long and it's not that much of ingredients in here but this is gonna be very impacting so you don't want to go heavy-handed or anything like that taste as you go you can always adjust your seasoning if it needs more garlic or ginger or whatever you know you just can't take away but it's easy to add delicious now I'm just gonna start putting in my kale just like that And it's gonna seem like a lot but it's not because when it wilts down it pretty much turns into nothing so you can do small batches at a time or get a really large pan and work your way like that I'm gonna wait until this cooks down a little bit before I add more in here and I see you right back All right, my friends, I just want to show you how beautiful this is coming out, and it smells so delicious. It's incredible in here. Oh, man. So now, as you can see, as it starts to wilt down a little bit, it gets nice and dark green with a little toasty edges. This is perfect. This is the way I like it. If you want your kale to be uh, much more... Um, softer in texture you can allow it to cook more under medium heat and just keep on stirring it but this is pretty much easy um you can cook it too as much as you like if you want it really nice and soft and or you want it to have a little bite a little crunch to it that's up to you really simple this cooking process probably takes no more than what 10 minutes if not less um, you can do batches at a time or use a really big pan and do everything all at once. I'm doing small batches at a time because I, I didn't take out my wok. If I did that, then this would have been done really quick and simple. But I'm going to be doing this in two batches, the same. So, so after everything is all done, I'm just going to show you how it looks. But I just want you to see that it's looking and smelling incredible. And I love those little dark bites they're not burned but they have a lot of flavor to it so i'm going to take this out because i like the way it looks this is wilted down enough for me and you could cook it longer or however you want your texture to be all right so i'll see you right back all right, my friends this is my second batch and i had to turn off the stove so it's finished cooking and it wilt down as much as i want it to be because i like the texture I'm just going to put some sesame seeds right on top. This is optional, but I like how it gives it the extra little crunch and a tiny bit of flavor. And then that's it, my friends. This is ready to serve and eat, and we will do a taste test. All right, my friends. It is time to do a taste test. So I cannot wait. I made this quite a few times. Family loves it. I love it. And I know you'll love it too. Here we go. Mmm. 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 All the flavors are so, so good. I'm just going to take another bite. Mmm. 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 This is a super easy and quick dish to put together really does go well with everything you definitely need to give this a try the flavors are so so good i mean it tastes like asian takeout food but better because you made it at home super simple super easy really does mask out that um strong green leafy flavor
flavor that this particular uh, vegetable has and it is it's magnificent I mean you're gonna love it so thank you once again for joining me today I truly do hope that you give this a try very easy very affordable you can do it during the week nights weekends whenever family will love it children will love it as well because my kids love it and I'm telling you it's great it comes together beautifully the flavors are excellent if you want to see more Asian style recipes, please leave me a comment below or whatever you want me to make. And um, I'll see you again. Don't forget to follow me on my social media sites to click on that bell as well so you can get notified. And that's it, my friends. I'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.